Hey everybody, it's all NASCAR 23 doing my fifth annual New Year's special. I cannot believe this is my fifth one. I, it feels like not that long ago I was just making really my first video at all and here I am uh, almost five years into the future, fifth annual New Year's special and uh, what might be my last video honestly if, uh, if you didn't know in advance or read the description before having a look at this video uh, I, I've like I said I've been doing this almost five years and uh, to me I've, I've been so inconsistent with it more recently just because it hasn't been as much of a hobby for me as it was for a few years and uh, you know I haven't been consistent with it viewership has just gone down to the point where I'm, I'm really I'm not enthusiastic about it like I used to be and if I can't be as enthusiastic about making a video as a loyal viewer is to watch it, then I know it's time for me to step away for some time. And and so I, I'm not guaranteeing that I won't be back. But if I if I never, if you never see another video from me, uh, just don't be surprised. I, uh, I I I don't have any plans to ever do that again. Although I'd like to. I, I'm sure at a point I'll miss it and I'll come back, and I'll film another video for y'all. But for the time being, um, uh, don't 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 uh, don't plan on seeing too much of me around on online but st still keep your eyes open because you never know I, I could change my mind at any point so uh, just just uh, I, I wanted you all to know that uh, for, for, for those of you who have uh, watched me for for a lot of the years I've been on I do appreciate the support that's why that's why I'm here that's why anybody would do what they do and um, I do appreciate the support it does mean a lot to me for the especially for those of you who have stuck with me even the, through my inconsistency when when it comes to posting videos it's uh it's nice to know that uh that I've got some base of support left so um I do appreciate it I'm going to try and give you all I can in this video and uh I hope you enjoy I'm not changing anything up for this video it's it's still going to be your typical collection video I'm going to do a review on a car that I haven't done as I always do in these videos and uh, so let, let, let's let's get started then. We'll just move this because we don't need this yet. One moment, actually. Okay. So right here. This year I don't have these arranged by year. They're just arranged in numerical order. Now this first one here, I remember I filmed this a couple years back, probably two, three years back, on the floor of, a, of our rental home in Palm Springs, I think is where I did that review, if I remember correctly. I did Tony Stewart's car with it that year, I'm fairly certain. So to run, run along these, these are just arranged numerically, nothing too specific. This car right here, you, I, you probably can't see it. On the side, it's autographed by Austin Dillon. On the side, to move to this end now, this is a 2016 right here, the American Ethanol car. That was a nice car there when Harvick won in that car. That was kind of cool. My favorite throwback from last year, from last season, was that four car right there. That one was amazing now to run through and you'll notice that if you remember anything oh this was actually my first review my first ever review is still up online it's a, I, I, I'm embarrassed by it now but it does bring back some memories that uh, 2013 Casey Kane farmers car and um, to come through these here these just bring back so many memories but yeah I, I, there are some cars here that you will notice um, aren't here that maybe were in the past. I'm trying to sell a lot of them right now that I really don't need or want or have the space for. Um, I've got 48 to be exact that I'm trying to get rid of right now. So if you or anyone you know might be interested in buying them either as a complete set or at least half that, um, I'm trying to just get rid of them in bulk because I don't want to make 48 trips to the post office. I, I, really, I really don't. Uh, yes, 
You'll notice I have a lot of 18s here, Kyle Bush. I have the 18, the 24, Gordon, and uh, uh, the 88, Junior. I have I have a lot from them. I have a lot. And uh, these just bring back, to me these bring back memories, looking back at all these. I, I love collection videos, that's why I try and do one for you every year. Even though this year I've added hardly anything, I've maybe bought a dozen cars at best. Maybe, maybe a little more, but that's about it. I still love these collection videos. I like watching them, and I, and I like uh, being able to put them up for you as well. Because I know lots of people love to see these things. These have always been my favorite types of videos to watch. So we're going to move on to this table. 20, 2016's right there. Got those at the Speedway, actually. Kyle Larson cars there. I remember this car. This car was it was not it was not a nice one. I don't know who designed it and who approved it, but it was not a it was not a good decision, in my opinion. Uh, when he ran that the first year of the Sprint Unlimited, which would have been 2013, I believe. I, I was I saw that race in person, Fontana. There I go, I go every year. In case you aren't aware, Kyle Larson's first start, his first car. When he ran part-time a few races at the end of the year, 2013, I'm pretty sure that was. That Wonder Bread car, that one was a cool one when they ran that. I do remember that one. This one I love is when Junior ran out of gas on the last lap at Vegas. Kozlowski passed him for the win. I'll never forget that. <laughs> That's kind of why I like it. And then to come back over here just to get the last of it. <clears throat> Let's see, I, the lights are all the way on. I should be getting a better picture than this. This car he ran at Bristol this, this just this past night race. This was that was a nice car, that Ducks Unlimited car. That one was a probably one of my favorite cars I can think of off the top of my head from him. Now to come into this box right here, right next to this an old little tin. If you open this up, this has several autographed pieces right there and a couple of other ones in the back right there a couple of, I thought I'd just throw these in for fun a couple Smokey and the Bandit cars I, I want the trailer I don't have the trailer yet I'm working on it though Petty set right there Lee Petty, Richard Petty, Kyle Petty and then this is what was in the background earlier right here this is a, I got this for 20 bucks just a few weeks ago, actually. So this one's kind of nice. They made a series of these for different drivers. This is the only one I have, but it's kind of nice. Little Dale Holler back there. Authentics. A few more autograph pieces. These ones right here, both signed by Jeff Gordon. I got those signed at the track, as well as some others in there, other random cars. Dale Call, NASCAR Authentics. These are the cars I'm trying to sell, actually. 48 of them, just so you can get a little look at them there. They're stacked too high in there, so you can see. These, I just found these, actually, not 10 minutes ago. These are, these. I used to have these in the background of my old reviews uh, several years ago. This is actually from my very first one, which is kind of cool. I've got several of these here. Several of them. Yeah, so those are kind of cool. I just I just found those. I didn't even know I still had them. That that was kind of neat. But to bring it back home now, as I usually do, I choose a car I have not reviewed yet from the year, and I do that for you now. So let's see here, which one shall that be? I'm going to go ahead and choose. I can't, I, I really should have organized these by year now. I can't even find them. Go ahead and go with the uh, Casey Kane Great Clips throwback since it's right in front of me. 
So this, who knows, this, what, what, this may very well end up being my, my last review. And wouldn't it be ironic that, that I started with Casey Kane? How about I go out with Casey Kane? <laughs> All right. So I do love this car. Iconic paint scheme for anybody familiar the least bit with the history of the sport. I love that the, 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 just, it, it just has that classic, that retro just ring to it. Um, the, the, the yellow on the front kind of comes down past the tire with the brown stripe. It has the yellow star right next to the number with the stripes, the yellow stripes that go to the rear. Yellow number, the rest background on the car is white, as you can see. On the front, of course, the windshields, 164s now don't have the Monster logo, so it's blank. Great clips on the hood, Chevrolet, Chevrolet SS. So glad they're going to the Camaro next year, so glad. All the throwback contingencies there, well, the ones that are there, I wouldn't say a lot of them. Up here on the B post, you got Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, uh, Mac Tool Siemens. Here you got great clips on the sides, C post, you got... Farmers Valvoline, American Ethanol, Farmers on the Quarter Panel, Great Clips Online Check-In, Valvoline, the number five, Blank Deck Lid, Cane on the Rear Windshield, Great Clips on the Roof, this side the same as the other. I would definitely recommend this car, I'm sure most people have already bought it, it's really nothing new, but in case you haven't, here, that, that was your little look at it, and I sure do recommend it, It's it's I, I love it. And uh, for all of you who have watched this video, thank you for watching this far in. I know it's been kind of lengthy. For all of you who have supported me over the years, I sure do appreciate it. It's kind of hard to believe this may be my final video. I don't know for sure, but it could very well be. And in case it is, I appreciate the support. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss it, and, uh, but, but, I, but I know it's what I need to do. So uh, I guess that about finishes it up. So thank you all for watching. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. And uh, farewell.